Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And today we're going to be talking about Antifa and all the crazy stuff that's been happening. We all know that Portland is a hellhole and it's officially ridden with violence and mayhem and honestly, um, communists is happening very, very badly in Oregon specifically and um, mostly in Portland. Um, and this is uh, this is something that Oregon has to fix, but it's been ravished by evil politics, people getting arrested for for things that they shouldn't be arrested for. It's just insanity, and also the activists are not being put in jail. So Oregon is a hellhole. It's a piece of shit uh, 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 place to be, and it's also Oregon's also a shit. Uh, I would say a shit state at this point. So we have that there. And we're going to be going to exactly what's been going on in Portland as things worsen. And um, at this point, somebody needs to do something there because the violence, the anger, the hatred, the just the amount of everything that's happening there is just so, so, so bad. Um, and uh, it's going to collapse eventually. Um, and unfortunately, the people have voted for this, and the jury are just as bad. So uh, I, I don't have no plans to go there at all whatsoever. Uh, Tifa summer camp in Portland teaches anarchy to children. A summer camp in Portland, Oregon, is offering children the opportunity to become budding social, social budding social justice warriors while reflecting on white supremacy and learning Black Lives Matter a chance about putting killer cops in jail. We all know how BLM acts nowadays, guys. It's no, it's no surprise on how the bad they're doing. The Budding Roses camp in August for fourth through eighth graders and a, is a project of the Black Rose Anarchist Federation, a political organization promoting the tenets of anarchy that some would argue led to the Portland rise of 2020. In June 2020, 2021, the Portland Police Association issued a press release announcing that the Portland Police Bureau Rapid Response Team Reis resigned from their uh, voluntary positions due to the political venom of the local politicians who, who not only failed to support but demonized the team during the Portland riots that began in 2020 and continued through 2021. The resignation is a step forward what Budding Roses teaches children in the chant, Cops and Borders, We Don't Need Them. As with many SAW goals, the camp's curriculum appears to be inflicting children with race, obsession, and graphic sexual concepts as, he can, as can be seen in a BLM coloring book, espousing transgender information and in a chant that compares the government to a rapist. That it's the it's the state that's our that's our oppressor. It's the rapist government. The camp also has class on why writing people in prisons and jail matters to instruct children on writing to incarcerated felons. Letter writing with incarcerated people co encompasses our commitment to change and the in intersection of our priorities. It says in order to fight for prison ab abolition, we must connect with with and advocate for those most co most impacted by the prison industrial complex. And it's tear gas for Portlanders, glass a uh, drawing of a person in Antifa, garb who introduces themselves as your friendly neighborhood anti-fascist, gives a lecture on tear gas, how it's made, where it has been used, and how much the city of Portland has spent on it, and why it shouldn't be used. According to the class, tear gas is another tool in the box of what it describes as a racist police force. As first reported in PJ Media in 2018, the city of Portland awarded Budding Roses the Spirit of Portland Award for Nonprofit Initiative of the Year. However, the, recip the recipients of the award who were there to accept express ingratitude. As as budding roses, our goal to is to empower the voices of youth, especially those that those most affected by white supremacy and patriarchy. Wow, and we try to embody in our all work that power comes from not comes not from authority, but from below. The recipient, the recipient said. Unfortunately, we find it ironic to be present to be, to be presented this award from a city that doesn't seem to share these values, given its history of using police violence against anti-racist activists while shielding racist de demonstrators. And most recently, a proposal by Mayor Ted Wheeler to enforce a to protest policy. The city of Portland, Budding Roses, and the Black Rose Anarchist Federation didn't respond to the Equity Times request for comment. Now, if we see on what, you know, if they're actually making a summer camp um, in Portland, Oregon, which we're not terribly surprised. We don't know what's going on there currently here in California. I don't think California, as much as I hate this bloody state and everything that it stands for, is as bad as Portland, Oregon right now. Because a lot of the crazy stuff is happening there. I think what will end up happening, if it ever does happen, if Portland really, or if Oregon really clamps down on this 
uh, far left stuff, they would have just moved to California because uh, home, which would be the home state of LA or San Francisco. These would be the ma main states that would be. But right now, since Oregon is letting all this stuff happen, the main state and the home, I would say, headquarters would be Portland, Oregon. And it, I feel bad for anybody who can't leave there because it's just a it's just a hellhole. Um, and I it's just disgusting that this keeps on going on. The mayor has actively failed its city. They have actively wronged people. I just I just can't believe that place. I would never go there. If I had a job, something there, a job opportunity, I'd be like, I'm not going there because I don't think it's safe. Um, nobody will will agree with my i with my with my political view at all. I have a which would mean I would have a higher risk of being injured, and the pay would not be worth it for all the violence that's happening there. So yeah, it, it's, there's no way I would ever move there at all. Period. And businesses are going to end up start mo moving as well. I think it's already starting to happen. It's happening in Illinois, Chicago, due to all the violence and everything. So I mean, at this end day and age, it's just. These places are going to collapse, and uh, I also want to get out of California and move to another state. Um, sometime, as after some of the things that are happening in Texas and some of the laws that are in Texas that I'm kind of getting concerned about. And no, it's not too racism because people probably say I'm black and probably are always because you're black and you probably think it's racist. No, I don't think it's racist in Texas. How, uh, and however, I do think that Texas, in terms of laws, is not be being run nearly as well as Florida is. And I would feel probably better, in my personal opinion, being in te being in Florida than I would be in te what I would be to go to Texas. That's just my personal opinion. I know there's a lot of other creators there and people that I could go to Texas I could meet up with and stuff like that. But that's beside the point if uh, Texas is laws are being kind of questionable, even though it is a red state. So, yeah, that's kind of my opinion on it. With this issue here, though, we will see a lot more information coming out. From Andy No, from this man specifically, I would highly recommend following him. He gives a lot of stuff on the Antifa situation and how it's going in and Portland, Oregon, and other things. That's, and other things, it's very, very enlightening. Um, he goes on to say, a social justice camp for young children run by far left anarchists will play will will take place in or Portland. The event says it is inspired by Black Panthers and its curriculum. It lists a tear gas guide and a police abolition activity. Antifa, our furious, friend, furious indoctrination camp, was reported on. Well, yeah, because people are going to go after it. And he goes on to say the organizers behind the uh, behind the Antifa Children's Training Camp in Portland, Anar uh, Anarcha Pednet, earlier hosted a video where a teacher discussed his desire to radicalize children into militancy. For me, um... I, I'm a language teacher, and so I teach a lot of different ages. And so I don't necessarily work with a lot of uh, children, but definitely with uh, teenagers and just younger people. So like uh, college students, but uh, kind of more politically, I'm interested in uh, militant education and mil militant formation, like how to teach, not, not necessarily older people, but just uh, how, to, how to teach some more uh, committed engagement. That's that's what we've been studying more in Olympia. It's really cool, um, and we have a. For me, we have that going on there with that whole type of stuff, and then now we'll have is uh, we'll have more from Annie Know, which is saying budding roses, one of the nominous groups behind the Portland Antifa Children's Camp, has begun scrubbing in social media after reporting revealed the extremist donation camp program they have. Here's an archive of their Facebook. And we'll go directly to their archive of their Facebook because it will always has been archived. So we'll let this load up. And uh, they have here. Uh, no. What is this? What is this? They can stop. Okay. You can stop. I'm not logging into Facebook. Listen, Facebook is a cancer and I refuse to log in. So. We have budding roses here, which is this big with this thing here, and we'll, it goes on to say, budding roses is a volunteer collective who provide free social justice summer camps and a year-round workshops for um, uh, for Portland area or Portland area youth in fourth through eighth grade. Uh, 
going on to say there's still spots open for the summer camp, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know why I shouldn't think of doing this, but yeah, pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Um, that's happening in Portland here. He doesn't go on to say very much more. They don't, he doesn't say very much more, but it says at 11 p.m. ET tonight, I will be going on news station to speak with Leyland Fritter and about the Antifa trans camp in Portland by an Anarcha Ped Net that guides them through tear gas writing, teaches them and them and give a propaganda and connects them with a convicted criminal buddy in prison. So we have all this. Tear gas for Portlanders. And then why writing people in j prisons and jails matters and how to get involved. This is all the stuff that they are doing. So, uh, yeah, guys, we're not saying that uh, Antifa is not a terrorist organization, and they're pretty much showing to be a legitimate terrorist organization, along with um, trying to indoctrinate kids and all this other crazy stuff. So, I mean, you can say what you want, but nah, the facts are not really on your side. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.